Oh, silly Hydra. Do I have a bow? My bow probably sucks, right? Let's have a look at that. Uh, oops. Yep, it's a standard composite bow and we have almost no arrows in it. This is gonna be a pain. Get out of my face. Going down Chinatown. Where can I fall down from? I think it can fall down from like here. From here it should be pretty safe. We. Or may or maybe not. Maybe maybe it's not safe at all to fall down from there. I mean, definitely seemed like um, we busted our kneecaps a little bit. Just just a little bit. I'm sorry. You guys got to give me this. Wow. Even with this thing, it's still a medium roll. Wow. Wow. How the hell am I going to be able to run fast to places? Can I run fast now? Jesus Christ. Okay. How about we take off the pants? Still slow roll. <laughs> uh, someone said in a comment recently that um, he thought that he thought that fast roll is uh, overrated in my opinion i really don't think so anymore i really don't think that fast roll is overrated anymore oh man i forgot to revive i forgot to reverse hollowing so that you guys can invade me sucks really really sucks and the problem is, oh, there's actually a bonfire close by here, so I guess I can revive there before we actually engage the Hydra. It's like uh, here. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. There's a bonfire here. So, I'll just revive here so that you guys can invade me. Because like I said, I want you guys to be able to invade me at all times. At all times, you should be able to invade me. Ah, uh, reverse hauling. It's a damn shame we don't have any arrows to deal with the Hydra. Because the Hydra becomes this really boring fight when you're down to the last head. It's just so frustrating because it will not attack at, at a location that you can get to, particularly when you're running um, heavy armor builds because your stamina takes longer to regenerate and um, you also move slower. So getting to a specific Hydra head is quite a pain in the ass. It's a pain in the ass. But anyways, let's go ahead, kill off all these crystal golems in the forest. The Hydra's probably going to be shooting a couple of... Uh... Oh, wow, you, you almost hurt me there. But not quite. Did I just one shot at that one? Yeah, I think I did. I did catch him mid-animation, though, so it's kind of unfair. Is it shooting yet? No, it's not shooting yet. Good stuff. Come at me, Brohim. Come on. Got a boy. Oh, wow. I can one-shot these dudes. That's cool. I like one-shotting things. It's fun. No way. Oh, you're gonna die. Yep, you're dead. Told ya. Ah, baby. You know how Tarkus rolls, baby. Come on down here. Have a little chat with me. Atta 
boy. Wow. Wow, that's one head off. Go on, we ain't got all day. Ah, uh, you see what I mean? <laughs> that's another head. You got any more of those? Come on. If I can reach it, nope, no good. If I can reach it now, however. There you go. What else you got? And another one. Come on, shoot me again. Well, not really shoot me, but come at me again. Slice. Who's next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's that's the problem with this boss. It gets boring. It's not even a boss. Yeah, like I'm ever going to reach there. I'm not even trying. Come on. So slow. God, I, I hate fighting this thing. You see, this this is why I hate fighting it. It's just pointless. It's not um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and move over here. Because I think there's a bigger chance that sometimes that head doesn't attack that I can get to if I stand here. But it's that particular head. It's this one. It's a look! There he goes again. I'm never going to reach there. Come on. This is why I need arrows. I should just ignore it and go away. But I can't. I don't think I can save uh, Dusk if, if I ignore it. Come on, dude. Come closer. Ah, they should just call this the Boring Hydra. Hydra boring. Are you going to hit me? I'm over here. Come on. Psh. It's impossible. I'm never going to get there. I almost had it. How come I didn't hit that? That was so close. God, the fails. The fails. It's too much. Yes. Thank you. I hate this thing. I really hate the Hydras. And the Fairy Passion. Not even because they're hard, just because they're a pain in the ass to fight. Anyways, I probably should switch rings, because I'd rather fat roll but be able to move than medium roll whilst not moving at all. So this is where he's going to spawn. Once again, we're going to do the whole quit game thing to be sure that the dude spawns. Once he spawns, we're going to beat the crap out of him, save Dusk, because we're heroes like that, and then we're going to beat the crap out of Sif, who is going to unlock the ring for us, the ring that's going to allow us to fight the four kings. After that, we're going to kill the Bed of Chaos. So yeah, that's pretty much the plan. That is pretty much the plan. And for those of you wondering if I will do the DLC, yes, yes I will do the DLC. But I like doing the older content before I head out there. I have one of this, and another one of this, and goodbye. So this is how Black Iron Tarkers handles things. He beats them into submission. Yes. Oh, yes. My heart is pleased beyond wonder. I bet you are. In case you guys are wondering what that item is over there in the distance, that is the knight armor set. And I mean the knight armor set, not the elite knight armor set. 
The Elite Knight armor set is elsewhere. As a matter of fact, we did pick up the Elite Knight armor set earlier in this playthrough, I think, so... Yeah, now running through the forest with heavy-ass Tarkus. That's gonna be a challenge. Devil's Ring. At least give us medium roll. Man, that... This, can you imagine the strength of a character to be able to go up a, a staircase like this whilst wearing heavy-ass armor like that? Can you imagine the strength on a character like this? It's ridiculous. It's just plain ridiculous. Come on. There we go. Now we head into the forest where we will see Ferris as well as all the other forest hunters. And we will completely ignore all of them. I will take this soul item, however. Thank you very much. And we will be needing power with... Well, we don't really need it, need it, but it does allow us to do a lot more damage faster, so we will basically just destroy Sif in, in a couple of swings. Or Sif will destroy us, because our vitality is still not where, it sh where it's supposed to be. Here's another complaint I have. The frame rate. <laughs> That's another reason for doing it on a PC. Just this frame rate kills me. Quite literally, actually. This frame rate will kill. It will cause death. Oh wow, could I have possibly aggroed any more of them? I don't think so. And I've gotten invaded! Holy crap, no, screw you, screw you! There's like a hundred people after me, die! Die! God damn it! Fuck this guy! <laughs> That was hilarious. <laughs> that was actually hilarious. That's so bad. So, basically, I guess we got some running to do. And I, I, I admit, I was a scumbag. I, I just wanted to get rid of that guy. And maybe he was even one of the ones who was uh, watching the, the stream of screenshots that I'm throwing out right now. Maybe he was one of those, but... I'm sorry, dude. It's like, I was in a hurry. <laughs> I guess I should take my time then, so that I don't have to basically fight in those conditions. I'll just take my time through the forests. It is just, ah, it's just so frustrating, taking your time through the forest, because... Man, chasing down Ferris? Psh, especially with a fat character like this. And again, I didn't know what his intention was. His intention could have been to actually do a straight-up duel, which means I might have gotten gotten away with going through him, but I I don't know. You guys have seen that I've picked up, well, not in this playthrough exactly, but on other playthroughs, I've picked up quite a few people that uh, that I even took the time to bow down to and whatever, and it just, what happens is you just get reamed hardcore. And on that situation, I was like, no! No! <laughs> uh still was a lot of fun. You see, this this is one of the things that I wanted to have more of in my videos. Just random people showing up. It's like running through the forest, getting chased by a hundred NPCs, and all of a sudden, a wild invader appears, and I'm like, no! <laughs> I think I'm, go I'm gonna have to make another run for it, because I really don't want to have to deal with fighting these NPCs, because these NPCs in the forest are just, they're just a pain in the ass. Especially if you have a, a heavy character, it's just a pain in the ass to fight. Let's see if I'll at least be able to get down to Sif's location before I get engaged again. And there are my souls. I saw my souls for a second there. I don't know exactly. Oh, there they are. What the hell is that? 
I think that's like a texture that hasn't rendered yet. That's why my souls showed up. <laughs> and once again, here we go. Forest run, take two. I need to not aggro as many uh, dudes this time around, though. There's Paris. There's the knight with the sword. That's two of them that I've already picked up. Most likely I'll also pick up that bandit over there. I always pick him up. It's such a pain. Yep, there he is. Here are my souls. Once again, I'm sorry for if, if the dude that I attacked there, kind of kamikaze style, I'm sorry for attacking you like a scumbag, but once again, I had all of those people running after me. Just look at that. Oh, wow, someone already invaded again. <laughs> I think it's going to be hard to get a, a Sif boss fight done. Come on, you want some of this Iron Tarkas? Well, my location is being broadcasted, so he pretty much knows, he sh if he's watching, he should know where I am. I think I'll just have to unlock the, um, I'll just have to bite the bullet and unlock the door to this place, because otherwise it's going to be very frustrating constantly running back. Hmm. I guess he isn't watching, otherwise he would know where I am. Someone messaged me. I'm not sure if it was him or not. Let me just have a look. Where is it? Message box. Received. What level are you on Dark Souls? Right now? 56? But I'm not really going to reply. I guess it's not that guy then. Well, if he's not one of the guys that's watching my screenshot stream, then I'm sorry, I have nothing to say to you. I'm leaving. I don't give a damn. And I'm just going to head down to Sif. Which means the dude will get kicked out kicked out of my game. Still don't see anyone, so... Still coming? No? Nobody's coming? Well, you're gonna get kicked then. Goodbye. Do -do 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 -do. Apply power within. One of my favorite, um, one of my favorite cinematics, both of them, the, the good version and the bad version. This is the bad version because we haven't met up with Sif yet. It still is one of my favorite cinematics. Took a hit because of that screen. Come on, Sif. You know what's gonna happen here. Ooh. Dodgy little Sif. So slow. That frame rate. Can't take it anymore. does quite a bit of stamina damage there. Not to mention he's actually drawing me away from his most weakest fighting spot, which is close to the gate.
Sorry, Sif. Had to do it. I need that ring. I need the Covenant of Artorias ring. And another Homeward Bone. Not a lot of invasions happen. I mean, two invasions happen. And I would fight the other guy. The thing is, it was just taking him too long. And I also have my own objectives of stuff that I want to achieve. So, let's see. Uh, we want some more vitality. And for 2,000 more souls, we'll get another point in. Seems fair. So, if we go down to our souls department, we have 200, 400, 800, 1,000, 2,000. Yes, you're a winner. And from here, let's level up some more vitality, which will help us immensely on the four kings. Should I do the four kings early or seeth? The thing about seeth is that I've never done the elevator shortcut and I don't like doing the elevator shortcut because that is one of the shortcuts that I think really is a big ass glitch. Uh, but then again, I, I don't judge people for using it. I, I just think that in my opinion, that is definitely a glitch in the game. I'm gonna kindle this bonfire here. Give it to me, kindle it. Um, but I think that, I, I don't judge people for using that shortcut, but I think that that particular one is a glitch. So I don't like using it. So kindling and kindling. And the thing is, if you don't use the elevator shortcut to seeth, it's one of the biggest boring areas for all the stuff that you have to do before you actually get to the boss. And let's see. We will have to take off Havel's ring to fight the four kings. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Spoke. And, 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 and. It is time for the four kings. After the four kings, we're going to go down Lost Isleth, beat the crap out of everything and everyone. It's pretty much what needs to happen. <clears throat> I would say that I'll do a Lost Isleth Express, but there's no express way to do Lost Isleth. I mean, sure, you can get the shortcut and skip the boss, but I don't like skipping bosses. I'm exactly the other way around. I do not enjoy skipping bosses at all. New Londo Ruins. Ooh! I wonder if this is someone who's watching the screenshots thing. I hope it is. Oh well, his summon sign's gone. Well, if he joins us, he joins us. If he doesn't join us, he doesn't join us. That's the other thing I've been having with Dark Souls quite a bit. It's just impossible to summon ev anyone. I mean, I'm having troubles summoning all the time. Which is very frustrating and it really saddens me because I want to do more and more collaborative works with people, but... Most people uh, just get discouraged by the fact that the summoning system is so glitched. They just get discouraged by that and they don't, they don't want to do collab on Dark Souls. Which is a pain. Summoning failed, which sucks. Which means I'll just have to solo the Four Kings. Ooh, soloing the Four Kings. Four Kings is, is like this big deal. Four kings. And now I would fail at the at the four kings. That'd be hilarious. Okay, this should be pretty safe now, so let's pick this up. Covenant of Artorius. Drink a brewski. And we should be ready to just beat the crap out of them kings. Beat the crap out of them kings.
gonna switch to the pyro glove because when they show up that's exactly what I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna be like oh hi how you doing good sir let's see if I can do the roll after dropping yes you can very interesting well where's the boss there he is Then come at me. I don't care, you're gonna take what? The zero humanity that I have? That's a damn shame. Wow, and look at all that damage, bro. That damage. I'm just gonna get up and beat the crap out of you. I think I care. Do you think I care, good sir? Okay, I guess that's over. Chuck, 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 chuck. Oh, there's another one. Banzai! Get sliced. Your spells do not matter to me. Two down, one to go. Wow, take your time, dude. Just let my power within run out, huh? Scumbag. Look at the four kings hiding from Black Iron Tarkus. Psh. Did I glitch it or something? Did I actually glitch the four kings fight? Oh, there he is. Take your time. Like I give a fuck. Oh, maybe I should. Oh, crap. No, no. That was so bad. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, I forgot. I need to revive in case someone wants to. Um, in case someone wants to go ahead and do some jolly cooperation or some jolly invasions. Once again, coming at you, four kings. Y'all think you're some tough shit? Oh, well, I guess we will be taking our time with this fat rolling piece of crap. Wait a second. Give me Havels, please, at least until I get there. Yes, please, move faster, roll faster, everything faster. Still can't believe this. It's not the first time that it has happened to me of dying to Power Within. I mean, sure, Power Within did not take a huge chunk of my health. Power Within just slowly dwindled it. It's just I knew that I would survive the AoE that he was doing, but I was like, I wonder if I'll survive with enough health to drink a potion before Power Within runs out. But nope. Guess I got the answer to that. Needs more vitality. Needs more vitality. That, that's all I got to say. This build right now needs more vitality. Black Iron Turkus. Failing at the Four Kings. Psh. The throws. The throws. It's terrible. How many souls did I lose? I don't think it was anything significant. It was probably like one Dark Wraith worth of souls. Not a big deal. Stamina regeneration is also a big deal in this build. Definitely. I can definitely feel that. I wonder if I can just like... Yes, I can. But it's not a good idea. Also, he didn't really drop a Titanite chunk for me, this son of a bitch. How dare you. How damn dare you. Not to drop a Titanite chunk. For B.A. Baracus Black Iron Tarkus. 